96.7 WBDK. We're at Kindred Highland Farms where uh, today there was a, we'll call it an open house. People can kind of check out this system and we're waiting for the next count to go in and we're joined by Randy Kindred right now. And Randy, kind of walk us through the process. What exactly is going on right now? Well, the car comes in, get yourself a little treat. That encourages you to come in. Um, first, the brushes clean off the teeth. Then it'll attach. It takes about, uh, on an average, I think about 20 seconds for the mouth to do attach. No, it's two minutes the whole time it's in here until it's attached. Kind of getting everything, I guess, situated, making sure that it's ready for milking right now. Yeah, cleaning her off. Now, how does the system know which cow is which? There's a, they got a, a collar, each cow's got a collar, and they got a chip on their collar, and then the computer senses, reads the chip, so it knows each cow. And while this particular cow is milking, you have your computer system here, and what kind of information does the computer kind of talk about? Well, it gives you, uh, they, one quarter's got a high conductivity, it'll, let you know which quarter and uh, shows their milk production per visit, how long they're in there. Uh, they got uh, a heat detection under collars, so if it calls it heat activity, it'll, it'll know that they've been more active and it'll show up on the computer that they're heat. And, I mean, talk a little bit about the information that you now have. I mean, before Randy, you were saying you might have done stuff like this maybe once a month. Now, it's three times a day that you're getting this type of information. Yeah, you can check out our production on a two times a day if you like, every time it comes through. So we kind of look at the daily goals. Uh, there's a call, that, call that's down 20 pounds. She'll show up on the computer and a sick call is that she's down 20 pounds. You can investigate what the problem is. It takes a temperature in the milk. If she's got a, running a fever, it'll and when it comes to stuff like that, do you get alarms at all? I mean, is there is there a way that you kind of find out or do you kind of check the computer every day and look for that type of stuff? It'll show up on the computer if it goes down 20 pounds, it'll show up on the list. And then the only time the robot calls if there's a problem with the robot or it's, it's not functioning. Once again, we're at Kennard Highland Farms in Casco in a couple systems in Doran and Kiwani counties. And, and once again, you've had this system for about a year. You're looking to install two more machines in the near future. How has this kind of changed farming at your operation? Well, I think we can handle more cows per man, that's for sure. Yeah. It really cuts down on that rigorous up and down milking that I still And right now, it's milking the the back half of the udder here. And yeah, the sense is milk full. It comes off each quarter as the milk flow stops. And I've heard it's actually better for cows to be milked three times a day. It helps improve those milk yields. Is that true? It's a little easier on their udder. Yeah. I think it just it gives more production. I think you actually get they got a little better appetite too, but they're about three times a day, they're going to need a little bit more, and it's Spraying a pre-dip on the cow's teeth, and that's what the cow's teeth Washes off the machine there and on to the next one. <laughs> 